Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Who jumped? I didn't jump. I didn't jump the first time either. Oh, what I mean by that is, I think I said this in the first video, but the it first playthrough is done Why on Twitch. But this is a 1080. The doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. <clears throat> when I came in, I pressed the doorbell and it didn't work. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. Wah, wah, wah. So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking? More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. I think we got to get ready for some quick times. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. Jesus, there's at least a million dollars here. Mm-hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. The way he runs is awesome. Carlo, I have the goods for OB. But I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. OB. 
Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. All starting to add up, isn't it? Ah! Out of my way! Man, I thought X was A. Damn it. Let's do it again. All starting to add up, isn't it? Scared the crap out of scared the crap out of me too. It's gonna be different. Milton! <laughs> You're doing fine on your own, Mr. Ah! I believe in you. Thanks, Milton. This guy Attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Who is John Martinson? I, I didn't know I, what to I, choose I on am, that one. Ah, uh, Baccarini created a new identity for you. And I'll bet that under those bandages, there's a new face, fresh from surgery. <laughs> Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, at the docks. Uh, uh, birth 42. Right, right next to where um, where, where the uh, Allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meet-up time? Uh, t tomorrow. Tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow noon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? No. It's going to be tonight. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. There are certain types of people I don't allow in my diner. But today, I have no choice but to make an exception. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen. If the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. <laughs> ah, shucks. What? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. I can't remember the exact details of Torso. I don't think this is the same story, but man, it really makes me want to grab that graphic novel and read it again. Elliot? 
Ah, oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? A drop of whiskey. Just a drop. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> of all the times you could have picked, did it have to be now? What? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? I'd love to tell you, but I can't. It's better you don't get involved. You know, don't you? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas, and in four minutes' time, he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... I'm fine. Thanks. My hand? I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um... I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. Jeez. No, and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. That's a weird-ass Seriously, line. you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine.
Guys, I don't remember this part. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like I'm playing it for the first time again. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. I kind of remember him putting the costume on, and then everything after that is... I just don't... Nope. Oh, maybe I do. I think you mean the Russian dude. Yeah, I think I remember this. So, everything's gonna work out fine, huh? You sure it's here? Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here? Hear that? Not bad. <laughs> A white boy who likes the blues. What's next? You gonna let the black man vote? with Nikolai Ivankov. Can you help me? No, I'm sorry, pal. The mummy repair center is over on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm Osmond Burke, and I have an appointment with your boss. You're Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. to be here where's the ship looking for someone we arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at birth 42 but it looks like the ship isn't moored here has she set sail it isn't moored <laughs> maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean We got zeppelins, we got submarines, yay!
I guess we're going for a submarine ride, folks. Is this Al Capone submarine? No. It's the Russian submarine? Alright guys, that was it. First episode for Blues and Bullets. We'll let the game run. You can check out the credits, but um, it's pretty interesting. If you uh, are interested in this story, you should check out Brian Michael Bendis's the graphic novel. It's called Torso. Just Torso. I think it's based on the Torso Killer. I think it's based on all true stuff. So I, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, go um, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you uh, in the next series of uh, Blues and Bullets when it comes out, hopefully soon. Uh, or other videos on here on the channel. Or you can check me out on Twitch as well. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Rochambeau. Uh, and the B is a three, because someone else is Rochambeau on that channel, it's not me. Anyways, have a great day guys, thanks for hanging out, peace. You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday, it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh-huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer? The doll? Or the plush toy. Two days ago, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? And today, you tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. We are going to punish you. <laughs> but in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best?
protect him. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh? Eh?